Hello. I'm here with another TXT reaction. Um, for those that are not aware, uh, my name is Andy. I am on uh, Cam Reacts. Cam standing for Korean American Reacts. Um, I am a first and second gen kind of guy. Um, and then just kind of fell off the map on third and fourth generation. Uh, so five to ten years of music basically lost. Uh, at least in my repertoire. And just trying to get caught up. I enjoy my time. A lot of people are here commenting and giving me information. Much, much needed information uh, to learn and grow as I um, you know, come to respect. There's, there's something that goes along... There, the reason I spend so much time trying to learn the members and trying to learn as much as I can about each group is because sometimes uh, knowing and learning about them changes how you interpret their songs and music. And that's why I want to try and get to know them. Uh, you know, obviously at first it's all very superficial, right? I, I could only read their profiles, which of which I will probably not retain much in memory from. So at least getting their names down, getting their vocal traits down, getting their um, tendencies down, and then eventually maybe some of their background story will help me understand uh, where they come from and uh, allow me to, you know, appreciate what they're doing more than I would as a blind person just uh, as a person that just goes into listening to music blind I should say so this one is txt uh, I don't know ox1 equals love song 0x0 zero zero times 1 equals love song as a person of science 0 times 1 equals 0 so um, uh, I'm gonna need some help here. Uh, I know I love you is what is in parentheses. So let me read, let me just listen to it and see what I feel. Oh no. Um, ah, oh, thank goodness. I could read Korean, but English is easier. This is beautiful. You can say that adolescence is a whole universally present in the lives of everyone. Large or small, we experience hunger and emptiness in our soul during the period, this period, as a, in, in our adolescence. However, to some people, to some boys, this hole invades their lives with excessive frequency and in complex forms. Maybe it'll make more sense. Uh, as I play. Hmm. I'm a, I'm a, I have a weak spot for chanting. I didn't know Taeyeon had it. He, he's been the songs I've been listening to thus far. Taeyeon has been singing in very clear, mixed voice, and it's, it's it's very pristine and very fragile sounding. Right, it's clean. Um, and then here he's adding so much grit and raspiness to it. Um, that I almost don't recognize him. Oh, 
Jungkyu's voice. And that was Yeonjun's voice. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a featuring of Sori. Sori? Sori? Sori, probably. And that's probably why it sounds so high. Ooh. That was rude. I don't know if is singing like in a very low register. Sounds good here. Can I watch that again? And there he goes. Ah, Kai puts a, a lot of emotion in it. What's going on? Where are you going? Say you love me, say you love me, slacking up your pants on. Calling up there now, I'm all in love with you. Say you love me, say you love me, slacking up your pants on. Calling up there, I get all in love with you. Cars going yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dance I do when I'm standing here. First, I want to comment on, uh, I finally got to see a little bit of more of a goofy side of TXT from these music videos, and that's great. Um, now so far, they've been pre kind of, uh, in these videos, they've, they've been acting in a very emotional um, or melancholy way uh, or emotionless, in intentionally emotionless way. Um, but then all of a sudden you kind of see these strange goofy moments. It's almost like reminiscent of like Royal Tenenbaum types of goofiness. Um, uh, I like the music video a lot. I wasn't paying attention too much to the plot, if there is one. I'm thinking I'm not very good at understanding these music videos. Uh, maybe I'm watching them out of order or maybe there's just uh, it makes more sense if I was more exposed to them so I will stop talking about the music video itself and talk about a few highlights um, and then we'll go back and listen to it one more time uh, once again Ty Kai is to me uh, he, he portrays he exhibits a lot of emotion when he sings 
Um, I think it's just, and I, I think I mentioned it in one of the other reactions I did. He, he shows, no, for lack of a better term, desperation when he sings. There's just a little twang, a little more accent when he sings, and it makes it sound like it's desperate. It's there's desperation in what he's asking, what he's doing, or singing, I should say, and it separates him from everyone else in this group um, in a way that. Uh, I hope it registers to other people like what I'm saying here and what why I appreciate Kai so much and his vocals. Um, Taeyeon, his high range, clear and um, consistent sound is um, it's kind of like his trademark and it's trademark of TXTs as well. Um, but I was not expecting that gritty, raspy sound that he was doing on the pre-chorus um, and it's actually makes me wonder um, does he always seem like that or not always does has he sung like that in in a healthy way and what I mean by that is um, uh, so for example I for fun like to sing and in my high school days I say I went through like a rock phase and a lot of rock in the 2000s was a, and still now I guess rock is very raspy in tone and you, you, you intentionally make your voice sound gritty and raw and when you sing like that the more and more you sing like that the more and more raspy your voice gets the more um, but it hurts. <laughs> it doesn't feel good when you sing that way, that way, at least for me. Maybe others are born to be able to sing that way. I was not able to. I was kind of forcing it, and it hurts. And I'm just curious if Taeyeon is able to sing like that consistently, or does it? Is it just once in a while because it is probably damaging to his um, vocals? Uh, let's see. Pumgyu also surprised me with his like lower sound. Maybe he was always seeing like that. And I just didn't notice it. Um, sounds good. In general, I really enjoyed the song. And I'm a sucker for chanting. I don't know who Sori is, but she sounded nice in the song. She's got a very good pronunciation as well. Um, K-pop singer? Is she a K-pop singer? Is this Sori? Did she does it say she featured in TXTs? Yeah. She's 96, so she's not young. She's 26 years old. Does she work under at his pause? So she was a uh, She's a YouTube, YouTube. She gained fame in YouTube first. I was wondering if she's part of High, but it seems like she's not. I was wondering. She sounds great. Is why I why I ask. Okay, and she and her English was really good. Is she Korean? Just pure Korean. Sorry. Uh, anyways, I've wasted enough time here. Um, I'm gonna listen to the song again. And because I've listened to rock, um, I have a appreciation for rock when it sounds right to me. Take that as you will. <laughs> this sounds nice is what I'm saying. Uh, that grit. Uh, 
Oh. So I just noticed the scene where his parents, he's in the house, he's playing games, and his parents are fighting in the background. Which is not a great place to be. Kai is singing like that's interesting too. Oh, so this is where you got the keys. This part right here. Oof. It's a fish in the sky. Follow the lyrics too. Uh, TXT um, OX1. I apologize. I actually drew the pulled the trigger on this a little late. Say you love me, so we're down here. But I want to watch the music video, so maybe I'll just read the lyrics here. So he's, um, I'm going to refer to whoever is singing the song as he. He is in a bad place. And an angel appeared to him one day when he was singing alone. And he wanted him to, kind of like his savior, I guess. Uh, whoever this person is, man, woman, child, whatever. I can't go to heaven, I can't, I don't fit, there's a place like, there is no place like my place in heaven. Anything on my two toes, I was dyed black. It's like a lot of self-hatred. This place where there's only eyes, you're the only glow that shines. Again, it's kind of like a savior thing. It's a little reminiscent to run away in that regard. And he he's okay to be used by the savior um, as long as he could stay with them. I'm full of problems, love sick. There was no way I was it was okay to die. Uh, yeah, this is someone really depressed and um, they're in a dark place again, and, um, yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> I think Kai just has a really good voice as well.
Supin walks in like, all right, entertain me, bud. I was watching to see if any of the other members laugh. Taeyeon's laughing. I like this part. This hottie sounds great. Oops. He wakes up where alone with the car it's not on fire but he's got a bed I wonder where this is it's uh, they, they must have been <clears throat> developing hotels or, or an apartment it looks like hotels but it could be apartments here and then it was abandoned. I always find these kind of places so fascinating. Like, I wish I could just go out there and walk around for a while. <clears throat> um, it's another one of those melancholy songs. Um, lyrically, and the overall feel is desperate again, but hits different. I'm processing the information. Hold on. Um, in general. I think I am, this song in particular has really highlighted Pumgyu, Taeyeon, and Kai's vocals. Um, and it has kind of shown me a peak of what Taeyeon is capable of with that raspiness and that grit. Um, he could also hit that desperation note, not just those clean, pristine notes. Um, Kai... I noticed it in previous songs as well that he he could he could he could get that little extra in his singing style to provoke more emotion. Um, and Pumgu had like a low section in the verse in one of the verses, and his voice qual vocal quality was really nice, actually very very smooth and velvety. I'm not ignoring Subin or Yeonjun. I'm just saying these three vocals. Had moments of standing out to me more than the uh, uh, in, in the video, in the song. Overall, the song I like it a lot. Actually, um, it's got that rock element. It's got that chant element. It's, it's poppy rock. Obviously, it's not real rock. Um, the drum style is uh, slow and rhythmic, and it's 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 reminiscent of a like a. Um, not sure what era of rock, but it's a more modern rock. But it's it, it sounds good. Um, overall, my score for this is a nine out of ten. It's 
actually might be my... I don't know if I like it more than Love Song or Crown, but I might like it just as equally as those. It's such a different song from those poppy songs, right? But I love it, actually. It's really a good song. It's a really good song. Um, I much prefer this over... Um, now I'm forgetting what songs I've listened to. Uh, was it Anti Romantic? Now I forget. I'm sorry. Um, anyways, this is a banger. I like it a lot. 9 out of 10. Great song. If you have more recommendations for TXT, please let me know. If you have more things to teach me, let me know. Um, if you have more comments on Taeyeon's greediness and if you have more examples of it, I'd be very curious. Uh, just out of curiosity, who's your favorite member of um, TXT if you have one? Um, I'm having a hard time determining if I have a special, if I have a, uh, a favorite member. Um, I know I have a heavy liking to Kai's voice in, in TXT. Um, <clears throat> but I also like Yeonjun's like stage stage presence and charisma as well. Um, so if I had to choose, it might be those two for now and it might change in the future. Um, yeah, uh, be curious if everyone, anyone else has any thoughts of that. Again, my name is Andy. I appreciate your time and patience and coming all if you made it this far, um, uh, thank you. And if you like, if you could uh, like the video, if you could subscribe to the channel, if you could leave a comment, I would much appreciate it and have a great day. Thank you.